Today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, having some live analysis tools available to you when you're making your surface modifications. So here I have a couple of surfaces and what I want to do is I want to match one surface to the other surface and I want to make sure that I have a nice clean flow of those surfaces as they come across. So there's a couple ways that I can do this. Now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tool called surface continuity. It's going to ask me edge to edge I want to compare this surface to this surface. Now here I can turn on and off the type of continuity I'm looking for. I have G0, G1, G2, and G3. So as you can see, I have my G1, these long spikes. G0 is met. I don't have any issues with the G0. Um, G2 is broken. And if I turn on flow G3, you'll notice that it's also broken as well. Now, I'm going to leave all of these turned on. I'm going to select OK. Next thing I'm going to do is I want to do uh, this modification with my reflections turned on. So I'm going to go into reflection, pick my surfaces, and uh, I'll turn up my resolution, say ultra fine because I have a really good video card. And you can see here based off of those reflections that they are definitely just simply at best G0. Uh, there's different visualizations that I can use as well. If you want to use an image, you can use an image. Um, like this horizon is, is a, a pretty good way to look at things. As, uh, some of these other bandy types, these are good ways to look. So I'll leave it at that and select OK. Now that I have my visualization as well as my continuity check turned on, I'm going to go back into my match edge tool. I'm going to specify the edge that I want to match from and I want to match to this edge. Now the first thing that happens is as I look at my window it's going G0, 1, 2, and 3. I have all of these turned on and you'll notice that I get a little message that says hey you can't match to uh, G3 basically because I don't have enough math on the surface in the depth. So if I want to, I can come over to depth and I can, I can increase that and you'll notice that that error message goes away. Now my surfaces are distorted and as I look at this you can see mathematically I'm almost perfect G1. Uh, G2 and G3, if I look at uh, here, you'll see this is well within any allowable deviations. So every, everything is good, everything is perfect. I'm going to select OK. Now that I have that in, um, I'm going to look at this visually and say, yeah, this looks pretty good. I like the way this looks. I know I'm matching everything cleanly, but I don't like the way the surface is flipping up. So I'm going to go into X form. I'm going to pick this surface. And with this, I want to make sure that I'm modifying only the control points or the rows that I need to fix this area without adjusting or affecting this area over here. Now, as I do that, I want to make sure that if I come over here and you know this is my vmin, if I right mouse click, I'm going to go and say flow. I want to maintain that flow. So what ends up happening is, is I can't accidentally modify these control points. On, on, on the surface that will adjust or, or, or change the flow across that boundary. What this leaves me with is the ability now to modify just the rows that I'm allowed to. So I'm going to change this to, we'll say normal. I'm going to pick this and move this. And you'll see that I'm getting a true adjustment in my normal direction. And I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to say polygon. And I can grab this row once again and move this up in. Whoops. Let me grab that and pull this up. There we go. If I come over here and pick this and try to move these, you'll notice that these are locked in. I can't move any of these because my G3 constraint that I have applied. But you'll notice that. With the live updates, you can see that here 
making slight little modification over here. I mean, there's there's tiny, tiny bits going on at this end, of course, when you're making a change to the surface. But it's not it's not going to break that G3 within whatever tolerance you've specified. So if I need to, I can come back in here. I can say I want to move this in a vector. Pick the vector I want to move in. Make my adjustments and visually get the surface that I want. So you can see it's still nice and clean. I have no issue with uh, breaking tangency. This is just one manner in which you can do this. I'm going to do this again, but with some additional tools like the section analysis with porcupines as well. And uh, um, I'll come back and have a separate uh, lecture about that because there's other tools that I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about too much in one video. But uh, that, that's basically how you can go about uh, applying some of your analysis tools. Let me select OK. Some of your analysis tools, like the surface continuity, as well as your reflection to adjust your surfaces to get what you want dynamically.